Hi ladies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Urania and on this channel we focus on femininity and personal development to help you become the best version of yourself. In today's video, our focus is going to be visualization. What is it exactly? How does it work? And how can you use it to help achieve your goals? So what is visualization? Well, visualization is the technique to create an image in your mind of a future event and you will picture in your mind what that event will look like and what it will feel like to you. It's not enough to just picture yourself achieving the goal. You need to get in the feeling. So what will it feel like when you have achieved your goal? By visualizing, it's almost that you are giving yourself a look into your future. By seeing and feeling what it's going to be like when you have accomplished your goals. This technique is used by many athletes to help improve their performance, but also as a part of their winning strategy. Other successful people such as Jim Carrey, Oprah Winfrey and Will Smith have all said that they have used the technique of visualization to help achieve their goals. Jim Carrey says the following about visualization. I would visualize things coming to me. It would just make me feel better. Visualization works if you work hard. And Oprah Winfrey says the following. Create the highest, grandest vision possible for your life. Because you become what you believe. So how does visualization work in your brain? By visualizing yourself achieving your goals, you are actually training your brain in a way that will help you to achieve your goals. When you visualize achieving a specific goal, your brain sees that image as reality. And your brain then creates a neural pathway that tells your body to act in the way that you have just imagined. By visualizing, you are also triggering your brain to recognize opportunities faster. These opportunities could have been there all along, but you just didn't see them before. And now ladies, we are going into the steps. How can you start visualizing? Find a place where it's nice and quiet. Most people visualize in the morning or before they go to bed in the evening. Step number one, clarity. So what is it exactly that you want to achieve? What is the goal that you want to achieve? If you want to become rich, Ask yourself the question, how rich do I want to become? How much money do I want to have? Or if you are looking for your significant other, well, what are the qualities or the characteristics that you're looking for in your significant other? And also, if you want to have your own company, ask yourself the question, what type of company do you want? What are the products or services that you will be offering to your customers? What will be the value that you are giving your customers? Especially when you are leveling up, you are trying to improve different areas of your life. But I would advise you to focus on one thing at once. Pick out one thing and put all your focus on visualizing that thing into your life. Number two, your breathing. You need to calm and relax your mind. And the easiest and most effective way to do this is to focus on your breathing. Breathe in and out a couple of times until you feel calm and relaxed. Step number three, close your eyes and envision the end goal in mind. And with that, I mean, what would it look like when you have accomplished your goal? Have that picture very clear in your mind. For example, 
you want to have your own company and you want to sell scented candles, well, you will imagine what your company will look like. You can have the name of your company on the building, Level Up Candles, for example. And you will imagine what your candles will look like. What type of colors will they have? Make it as real and as clear as possible in your mind. Step number four, feel. When you're visualizing, this step is very powerful and very important. So what are you going to feel when you have finally achieved your goals? What are the emotions that are going through your body? And use all your senses. What do you feel? What do you hear? What do you see? What do you smell? Really get into it and make sure that you're focusing on the details. Very important. Get into the feeling because that is going to make your visualization feel even more real. Number five is to be thankful and to let it go and to trust that this is on its way to you. You need to be consistent when you're visualizing. So you should be doing it every single day. The more, the better. And you need to be persistent. You cannot stop until you have reached your goals. I also have to mention that you need to still put in the work to achieve your goals. You use the technique of visualization to help you to achieve your goals. You don't replace hard work with visualizing, but you combine the two. And I have two other tips that can help you to visualize even better. And number one is to create a vision board. And with a vision board, you are collecting images in quotes and words that represent your goal. And by looking at your vision board every single day, that will help you to visualize even better. My second tip is to follow Instagram accounts of people who have already accomplished the goal that you have or whose Instagram account is really motivating you. Those images and those Instagram stories can really help you to visualize even better. And ladies, now I would like to hear from you. Have you ever been successful with visualizing something? Let me know in the comment section below. I have had success with visualizing. I have visualized the apartment that I'm living in right now. Ladies, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're going to use the technique to help you to achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And we will meet each other in my very next video. Bye ladies!